Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking all about two week wait symptoms, my earliest pregnancy symptoms before I got my BFP, my big fat positive on 10 DPO. If you are new to my channel, my husband and I have been trying to conceive for three cycles. We finally got pregnant on the third cycle and we did have a loss in January of 2021. So yeah, it definitely was a lot of understanding my cycle and things definitely changed after the miscarriage. Um, but honestly, I was glad I had a couple cycles to understand what was normal for me again. That way, when I actually got pregnant in cycle three, I really knew like what was actually different than the other pre previous cycles that I didn't get pregnant. So that was super helpful. I wrote down all my symptoms. I'm going to be sharing all my two week wait symptoms by DPO. Um, I find that very helpful, especially when you're in the two week wait. I know how hard it is. Trust me, I was watching all the videos too, and so many people get so many different um, symptoms, and there definitely was a couple of things that I was like, I think I'm pregnant, so I'm gonna share those with you today. If you wanna follow along my pregnancy journey, I would love for you to subscribe. Make sure you like this video if you enjoyed it, and yeah, let's get into the symptoms. Okay, so I had my peak on cycle day 18. That was one of the things that I was having issues with the previous cycles is I was ovulating much later after my loss. So yeah, peaked on cycle day 18, so one DPO. Um, I feel like I shouldn't have to say this, but everyone says it, so I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I'm gonna be talking very TMI. I go there, I don't really care. And I feel like the more information, the better. So these are definitely TMI. You know, we're talking about cervical mucus, all that kind of stuff. So if that grosses you out, if you don't wanna hear it, click out. So one of the main things that I found was really helpful is checking my cervical mucus um, or my CM is which is what I'm gonna call it. So one day after ovulation, I already had really thick CM in the morning and then it was egg white in the afternoon and then back to thick in the evening. I had pinching cramps for about two hours and a high libido still today. Um, this was something that was really weird that happened. I actually had tinged blood in like egg white CM um, it was so weird. I've never seen blood in my cervical mucus ever. So I don't know, could that have been some sort of something happening? I know a lot of people say the day after, like there's nothing happening, but I don't know. I've never experienced that and I did end up being pregnant. So who knows? One DPO, I was also very tired. I did notice after tracking my uh, cycle around ovulation, I was always exhausted. I would take naps and that was kind of unlike me. I had a backache. I started getting reflux and my boobs were already starting to hurt, but my boobs always kind of hurt around the ovulation. So that wasn't like super out of the normal for me. So moving on to two DPO, I had backaches on and off all day, feeling tired and took a nap bloated and feeling uncomfortable down there, almost like I was going to have a UTI. And this happened when um, I got pregnant in January. Um, I actually ended up getting a UTI, which I don't know if that's like, I don't necessarily know if that's from anything. I remember I got a UTI and I got put on antibiotics and then I didn't even know I was pregnant. So I still wonder to this day, like, was it the antibiotics that kind of like maybe made me have a miscarriage? I don't know but I did want to mention that it's kind of random. I'm not sure if it's related. Um, I also had a breakout on my chin. So for me, breakouts aren't really normal. I do get breakouts, like maybe one pimple when I'm about to start my period. So a breakout on my chin, it was something that could be something out of the normal, but at the same time, it kind of wasn't. 3DPO, I was feeling very gassy and starting to feel constipated. That was a sign that I was pregnant in January. I don't get constipated. So once that was starting to happen, I was like, okay, that's a little weird. I was crying and feeling very emotional about Mother's Day, which is normal because Mother's Day is just a hard day for me. Um, crampy and upset stomach, again, constipated, going to the bathroom a lot. So I was probably having kind of back and forth between loose stools and constipation. Thicker CM today and my cervix was really high. Decreased appetite, feeling down today. I felt very, very emotional that day. I was just kind of like, all over the damn place. It was a, it was a mess. I had snot like CM at 8 p.m., but it was also kind of thick, super crampy, almost like period cramps, 
feels like I need to use the bathroom, but I can't. And then I even was having diarrhea also. So my digestive system was definitely getting all out of whack. And that happened with my two-year-old that I have now, her pregnancy for Everly. Um, I have IBS and when I get pregnant in the beginning, my IBS is like really bad. So that was also kind of an indicator that something was up. I'm like really out of breath, so don't mind me. <laughs> For DPO we are on now, so it says, feeling so drained and tired in the morning, nauseous after eating, headache at 10, be at 10 a.m., just laying on the couch, which normally in the mornings I'm like, go, go, go. And for me to just like lay there and do nothing is totally not me. I had a slight reflux and feeling out of breath even when laying down feeling pretty rough today i wrote going to the bathroom like peeing a lot and lots of burping that was another thing with everly's pregnancy i burped all the time it was just so gassy um a backache boobs are starting to hurt just generally feeling ugh, i put feeling very hungry today and wanting random things dry mouth constantly more diarrhea egg white cm around 7 p.m this morning and it was also kind of thin and then i had a weird vivid dream about a snake so the vivid dream started at 4 dpo i have really vivid dreams all the time so at first i didn't really think much of it but it was so weird because i had this very vivid dream about a snake like attacking me and then i watched someone's two-week wait video and they had a dream about a snake attacking them and i was like is this a sign from the universe? Like, this is so weird. So now on 5DPO, CM was thick and egg white CM when I woke up. This was one of the symptoms that I started thinking like, okay, maybe I'm pregnant because normally in my last few cycles, my CM was super watery. It was very watery in the two week wait and this time it was thick and I was also having egg white CM like throughout that two week wait, which was not normal in my other cycles when I did not get pregnant. Starting to feel really hot, which is unusual this was another one that I'm still dealing with super hot feeling like just uncomfortably hot it was so weird very bloated and full feeling but also feeling hungry um, feeling tired again a lot of head pressure and overall fatigue drinking so much water headaches at 7 p.m. Um, creamy thick white CM at night burping so much um, the headaches in the morning and throughout the day was also something I had with my last pregnancy. So now on to 6 DPO. I woke up slightly nauseous. CM was thick and sticky, but kind of um, scant, which if, which, you know, I don't know if you guys know what that means, but it means like not a lot of it. Um, lots of vivid dreams, peeing a lot, but also drinking tons of water, question mark, faint or indent line on pregnancy tests. I remember this. Um, I thought this was on 8 DPO, but it was actually 6. Um, feeling sleepy at 11 a.m., creamy white CM, feeling hot, boobs feel big and full, full feeling in abdomen, super sleepy by 2 p.m., achy chest and sharp pains on left boob. I remember this day, it was like just shooting like randomly for just like a few seconds and then it stopped. Light dull pains in abdomen on and off all day, tiny pinches. And it's funny because with Everly, I got the pulling sensation um, when I got pregnant with her. So I was like waiting for that feeling because it's a very intense kind of like startling feeling when I had the pulling sensation, but this time I did not get it. I just got little tiny pinches. So I guess it can just vary. Feeling very exhausted and irritable uh, by 8 p.m. and boobs are achy AF, I wrote. <laughs> So 7 DPO, thick white CM, also egg white consistency, white not clear this time. Feeling more moody and short fuse this morning, that definitely lasted for a few weeks. And now a backache on the right side that's pretty strong. And then I wrote feeling very short fuse still, LOL. Boobs hurting on and off, feeling so tired and zombie-like. Um, having sharp quick pains in my boobs and then they go away. Um, starting to feel like sore down there, which was kind of like a, a what's the word, PMS symptom for me. I would get like kind of achy down there. So I wrote that down, hot AF and bloated and ribs are hurting after dinner. Achy on right ovary, back ache, th back ache throughout the day. Oh, ovaries cramping when I get up. So this started at 7 DPO and it still happens now. I'm now six weeks pregnant. At 7 DPO guys, like I was already getting round ligament pain, I guess. Um, I would like get up really quickly and it would like pull and it would like hurt or I would sneeze and it would do it. So weird, it was happening so early. 
um, but this is my third pregnancy, so maybe that's why. Still very moody by 9 p.m. Husband is pissing me off. <laughs> I was I was very moody and it still is around a little bit even now. Eat DPO had to pee in the middle of the night again. This is something that like is not normal for me. I mean occasionally it could happen, but not normal. Gums bleeding super easily. This happened with Everly, uh, Everly's pregnancy as well. CM is thick and gummy, but not super abundant, very wet. Feeling moody AF again today, angry and annoyed about nothing. Negative pregnancy test this day. This is probably when I started testing. Pulsing ache and right boob. Abdomen, when pain in abdomen when getting up. Um, feeling exhausted and sleepy after 12 p.m. Slight headache. Just want to lay on couch which again, is not, not normal for me. Peeing so much, oh my gosh, but I am also drinking lots of water, I wrote. CM was white, sticky, and slightly egg white CM. More round ligament pain when getting up quickly. I was starting to get reflux and dig indigestion this day, bloated AF even without eating for hours, and a super faint positive at 5 p.m. on ATPO. This was actually a um indent like evaporation line that i think was an evaporation line because i never got anything the next day which was 90 po so on 90 po weird um vivid dreams starting to feel uncomfortable at night and waking up a lot i remember that was starting to happen i just wasn't sleeping well which was definitely out of the normal for me boobs sore once waking up this is this has gradually gotten worse now that I'm farther along in the morning right when I wake up my boobs are just like huge and they hurt so that was happening at 9 dpo moderate back pain and headache not feeling good making breakfast achy um, pain and right, right lower belly, feeling dizzy, like blood, low blood sugar. This was another thing that was like, okay, I think I might be pregnant um, because I wake up so early, like at 5 a.m. And by like 7, 8, I was like, I needed food or else I was going to get like lightheaded and like dizzy. And normally I can go a lot longer without eating. My smell started getting stronger too. I kept feeling like I was smelling nasty smells. Um, feeling much more hungry and also starting to get anxiety while driving, which was just so weird. I remember when I was pregnant with both of my other kids, towards the end of my pregnancy, I would get anxiety when driving just because I was bigger, but now I'm getting it like right away, which is definitely weird. Um, this is still 90 PO, upper back pain, pain in uterus on and off, took a nap, moderate cramps and chest aches like achy ribs with lower back pain it's definitely gas pains and it hurts a lot i remember having like really really bad gas pains in the two week wait like it was it was bad super thirsty and headache as well so 10 dpo which was mother's day this was the day that i got a positive pregnancy test woke up with a dry mouth very thirsty i got a positive this morning light crampy twinges and pulls throughout abdomen um, boobs feel mildly sore and full kind of felt nauseous like i needed to eat but food was just grossing me out whenever i started to eat more vivid dreams last night very bo bloated even after barely eating feeling dizzy and easily tired during my workout which that happened with everly's pregnancy too i remember i was doing my normal workout and i felt like i couldn't even barely get through it um, a lower back pain since waking up that was one of the main symptoms in my two-week wait was lower back pain like the entire time feeling very emotional today zombie mode again today feeling just like heavy brain fog um, which that's still kind of happening now my hair has been so much more greasier than normal. I don't know if that was just because I was feeling hotter the more than normal and then I was like sweating more. I don't know, but that was something that was definitely different. Um, really bad gas pains and diarrhea. Felt nauseous in the car right home. That's still happening. I haven't experienced any morning sickness, but in the car, it definitely triggers like some nauseous feeling burping a lot very gassy feeling hot all the time not very hungry headache just tired dry mouth thirsty and yeah that was pretty much it for 10 dbo when i got my positive so i did keep going a little bit more so 11 dpo dry mouth super thirsty boobs restore i started getting the stuffed up nose when i woke up the congestion i remember i had that with everly too but this happened a little bit later in the two-week wait than it did with her food just doesn't sound good bad gas pains again this was just another thing like it 
I have IBS, but it was like on steroids. It was really bad. The pregnancy hormones were definitely causing more gas in my stomach and I just can't handle it. It was not fun. Oops, I didn't mean to hit my camera. 12 DBO, stuffed up nose again. Very w weird with, I cannot talk. Very weird, vivid dreams headache while drinking my coffee oil diffuser so strong making me want to gag i remember i was putting my oils on in the morning and i could not handle it i could not put them on for probably about a week and now i can not feeling nauseous but not feeling good um pregnancy was a lot dark pregnancy test was a lot darker today feeling hot upset stomach after eating dull aches in belly heartburn on and off um woke up this so 13 dpo woke up with a backache dry mouth always thirsty moody af constant lower back pain and peeing frequently so kind of those like standard um symptoms started happening once i got the uh, positive pregnancy test on 10 dpo so that is all my two-week weight symptoms i'm now well i'll be six weeks tomorrow on monday so i can't wait to keep sharing all of my updates with you guys again if you want to follow along make sure you are subscribed thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one bye